basic comes with quite a few packages. Um, it's if you've bought Invents or if you bought AutoCAD, you will actually get uh, Autodesk Vault Basic. Now it's a little bit different to the Autodesk Vault Workgroup and Professional, which you you might have seen. You actually see quite a lot of that out um, on the internet on YouTube. Um, so what I decided to do today is actually just show you how Autodesk Vault looks like when you do the copy design. So it's a little bit different to the copy design in the the Vault Professional and the Vault Workgroup. So if you haven't upgraded or you know haven't paid for uh, that software from Autodesk. Um, you actually just, uh, and, and all you do is, is have the Vault Basic. This is how to do a copy design in that and how the interface looks as well. So first of all, um, you would go to the assembly or the part that you want to copy and we can right click and go to copy design. From this over here, this dialog box pops up. Okay, so basically it's going to say where you're going to copy it from. Okay. I don't really, I'm not really too phased about that, but just copy design to. So over here, we need to say, okay, write all the copied, not the reused, but all the copied components that we want to do. Where do we want to save that? So we can go into our folder structure here. And let's say, let's go copy design 2204-2021. Okay. So once that's done is we're going to take a look at what we've actually got over here. So now we can update the part numbers for the copied files or, or not update. We can also change the way that we see the files. Okay, so there's just uh, basically there's all the files um, in a very flat structure. Then we've got the design view with all the uh, sub assemblies and the components. And then we've got a folder view as well. So actually where it's going to sit in that folder over there. Okay, so I'm just going to go to the flat view over here. Now, with this, we can see the, the new file name, the vault path where it's situated, okay, as well as if it's going to be reused or copied. Now, with this over here, I'm going to say, right, you can see the top one over there, the assembly is going to be copied. It's got little two pluses. And then we can say, look, you know, I want to have a copy of this as well. So now what it does, it automatically reverts to where it's going to be copied to, which is this copy design to. From um, from where I, you know, from what I specified. Now we can go and you know choose a couple more. Now to see that it's actually a different file name, we'll see, we'll notice here that it says two in brackets behind the copied files. Now I can either do a prefix or a suffix. So with a suffix, I can maybe say underscore copy. And what I can do is I can apply. So there we go. It does your underscore copy over there. I can also revert back to the old name as well. And we can then also just apply it over there. So you can see how we can change that. If I go and click on, say for instance, another component and say copy, it'll automatically take that underscore copy and apply the name to those copied parts over there. Once that's done, um, that's all that you'll need to do. So once we've got those, um, those components copied, uh, you'll also notice here that you know we here we we've copied the assemblies as well. Uh, so once we've got those uh, copied over there, all it is is a case of clicking on OK. Okay. Um, so we just got some uh, some warnings over here. So the following source files will be modified. Assembly and assembly. This file has been said to be reused, and one more children have been said to be copied or replaced. Okay. So you know that's. Um, so if we can take a look at, I'm just going to say okay. I just want to make it sure that it copies. Um, you know, if it was an issue, I would have gone back, checked it out, seen exactly why it's doing that. You know, it can actually replace it or copy it, and then it makes the copy for me. So once that's done, we'll notice there. So all the stuff that I've reused will be sitting in the same location, but then if I go to my copy design, you'll see there I've got my data set and all my components are there. So there's all the copied parts sitting over there. Okay, with un backslash copy, and then if I go to my sub assemblies, that's the copy of the sub assembly that I've got over there. And then I can happily go along and make any modifications that I want to it um, and continue within my design. Thank you very much for watching.